you're back with Ida and Sarish. We've prepped the hair. If you haven't seen how we've done this, look at the um, the little video that we've done on prepping the hair for a loose curl bun wig. So now your hair is all up underneath. This is the way that your Caitlin bun wig will arrive. Looks like a big flat pancake. Okay, there's a little comb at the top here. Opposite the comb, there's a string. Sometimes it's hiding in amongst the curls. Just pull the string nice and gently. This is going to make the bun, okay? Once you have it pulled, pull it out a little bit again. Find the comb, and this really is the easiest thing in the world to put on, okay? So if you get the chance just to look up to the ceiling, just as you would do with a normal wig, put the comb in at the very front where the donut is, secure it underneath the donut, and then loosen up the string a little bit. You don't want this bun wig looking too tight. So you're gonna pull the curls out so it doesn't look flat. Okay, and then turn right. And then you literally shape this with your fingers and with some clips. Okay, so pull the curls out here. Make sure that it all sits nicely like this. And you are literally just going to clip it into place. It's very, very, very easy to do. And do, you can clip this one in through the curls to make sure it stays. Okay, so you literally just clip it in, shape it. And then at the back of this, if I can turn it round, at the back, you've got this string and you can tighten this as much are, are as little as you like. We like it to look more like an up style. So we just clip it in so it sits a little bit down the back. Just gives it a wee bit more of that glamorous look. So it's in like this. Clip it in. Make sure it's nice and secure like that. Hide the string. So literally, just bring the string, just turn around a wee bit, keep it there to the camera. Good girl. Hide the string in here dead easy to do you just pull it round like that clip your string in so that it doesn't fall out and use as many clips as you think you need to make the bun wig secure turn right okay again for Kiva's hair she's she could get her away probably with a color 12 which would be a flat light brown and um, which has a little bit of blonde highlights in her hair um, and from stage this looks a very warm tone and it's a 24 BT 18 one of the most popular colors I think that we actually do in the, the Caitlin bun wig and again then whatever accessory you want to to use the bun wig um, looks very well with something very pretty um, and we pop that in like that you can wear one of them and I dance Irish we always try to do everything bigger and better so we'll do two of them. And that just slips on there, just gives it nice height. And we finish off the full, the full look. You just able, you're able to clip those in without a problem as well. They're very easy just to slip in. Um, and if you just turn round, keep it towards the back. Right round like this, girl. back just to match the um, accessory at the front we wear one of the big bows and remember whatever looks big to us sitting here whenever you are dealing with a child on a stage she's always going to look far away always under lights so you have to remember that what you're doing is it's always for stage it's always stage presence and that that's why sometimes things can look big um, but whenever you put them on stage they're not big at all so that would be the back of the bun wig finished okay and then if you turn around the front of the bun wig with whatever accessories you want to work with without the tag of course whenever that's bought okay and that's Kiva in the Caitlin Loose Curl Bunwick.